Hey guys, Cameron here again, and I'm super excited. I've been waiting six weeks for this. Yesterday, I finally got this package in the mail, and what this is is my order from Z-Packs. Uh, a while back, I sold uh, pretty much all of my hammock gear uh, just, just to try something different, and what I bought was this. This is the Z-Packs Duplex, and this is my new tent. It weighs uh, 21 ounces, but I'm going to save a review and talk about this for another time. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, this. This is another thing I got from Z-Packs, and what this is is a uh, shoulder belt pocket. Um, it's made out of the hybrid Cuban material. Uh, I've never dealt with the hybrid material before. Everything I've ever gotten from them is just the normal uh, standard Cuban material. Uh, this is definitely... A little bit uh, thicker um, it feels a little tougher than the normal Cuban material uh, I believe these only come in the black color uh, you may be able to get them in whatever color you want but uh, I was fine with the black so I went ahead and got it uh, in black so I just want to talk about it real quick uh, it's be a real short review and I'll show you how to install it on your backpack all right, so I'm gonna throw it on the scale real quick and see uh, how much it weighs. Uh, this is just for one pouch. It weighs exactly half an ounce. So, uh, you know, extremely light. You're not even gonna notice this on your pack. And the reason that I decided to get this is the pack I use is uh, this right here. It's a Z-Pack Zero. Uh, there's not a lot to it. This is made out of their standard Cuban material. Uh, it's, it's basically just a tube backpack and then I got this uh, this mesh uh, center pocket added on. There's nothing, not a lot to it. There's no hip belt. Uh, there's basically shoulder straps and a sternum strap, and then uh, this pocket on the other side, and that's it. So I wanted to get a shoulder pocket just for a few small things that go on your shoulder. And also, uh, this uh, pocket can hold a water bottle. Now, I've never used a water bottle on my shoulder strap. I know that's kind of popular now. Um, basically what I normally use is, are these, uh, platypus bottles. I pretty much have always used these. Sometimes I use them with the hose, uh, sometimes without. They've, they've never let me down. It's always worked out great. So that's basically what I use. On my last trip, I picked up one of these smart water bottles. Uh, I know these are getting really popular and they're definitely popular with through hikers and because they hook onto the Sawyer, uh, mini filter. Uh, so I picked up one of those and it was fine. Um, but basically what this uh, shoulder pocket for is this size water bottle right here. And this is like the half liter. Uh, it'll come in like the packs of water and uh, it fits down in this pocket nicely. And that attaches to your shoulder strap so you can have a small bottle of water right here. So I want to show you a picture of it up close. This is the front of it. It's got this really small mesh pocket. Uh, this would be for like chapstick, uh, keys, maybe flashlight, something real small like that. And then it's got this top pocket that opens up. Uh, that's where I slid the water bottle in a while ago. And uh, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, this is the back of it. This is how it attaches to the shoulder strap. It basically has these two elastic loops that go around the shoulder strap. And then this uh, small toggle will go in through the daisy chain on your uh, shoulder strap and that's what keeps it in place. So let me show you how to install that real quick. So what you're gonna wanna do to install these shoulder straps is take off the uh, bottom section, uh, the webbing part of the shoulder strap from the top padded part. And uh, th I'm doing this on the zero. So uh, different backpacks may be a little bit different, but this is the right the uh, right shoulder strap. I'm gonna put mine on my left. I just wanna show you, this is where you're taking it apart right here. And all you're doing is running that back through the buckle. So this is the left side. I've already got it undone. This is what I'm talking about. And then basically all you'll do is slip the uh, shoulder strap through these uh, elastic bands on the back. And then you're going to hook the uh, toggle. This little piece is going to slide right in through here. And they're kind of small holes. Uh, it's made to not pull out. So the easiest way I can show you to do it is kind of bend uh, your strap up like that you'll get a little gap in between there and you can slide that toggle through uh, really easily. So let me do that and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so this is the shoulder strap attached. Uh, this is what it looks like from the back. Like I said, you just slide it through these elastic straps and then uh, this toggle 
is through right here. Um, I'll put on my pack and show you exactly how it looks. All right, guys, so this is basically what it looks like on, um, as you'll notice, the bottom of it's basically even with the bottom of the padded part of the shoulder strap, and that's about where I like to keep it at. Um, I put a few things in here so you can see the uh, mesh pocket. This is some Z-Line. I got an E-Light right there and some chapstick. And like I said, you can put your water bottle uh, in there and keep it on your shoulder strap if you want to. I don't know that I'll do that. Um, I'll probably continue to use my platypus bottles, uh, but that is one option. Uh, one thing to mention is I think these run about $25 from Z-Packs. Um, so they are kind of expensive, but so is everything from Z-Packs. That Cuban fiber is... Uh, pretty uh costly material but um if you're willing to pay for it and there's a little bit of a weight uh it's definitely worth it to me i think everything that i've ever gotten from z-packs is a uh, great craftsmanship and i really like it so uh that's basically it um i'll try to review the tent whenever i get a chance it's been raining outside a lot lately um so as soon as i can get out and get it set up and use it a couple times i'll let you know what i think about it all right guys thanks for watching see you next time